After seeding the right away through baseball's opening day and the national championship game, the NBA returns tonight with a six game slate. This is your fan duel fantasy basketball preview for Tuesday, April 7th, 2015. Going back to Sunday, at least uh, I was in the top. Um, 40% or, or so. Um, there were a couple of um, cheap Sacramento Kings were uh, part of the uh, order of the day. Um, Ray McCallum had a, a decent night, and the other um, uh, blowout blues with Clippers, Lakers, 106 78, the final. Uh, not as close as the uh, final score indicated. Uh, Dwayne Wade, I lost my season-long playoff game because I had a bunch of bricklayers and uh, Leal Dane, as I knew he would, went something like one for eight, one for nine on the way to the MRI machine and actually had about 20% ownership, but uh, I'm not expecting much from uh, Leal Dane the rest of the year. Uh, Coming in, uh, I tried to take advantage. Uh, I on Sunday I thought no way Noel plays, uh, but he was a late addition, so I snuck him in there. He only had eight point four percent ownership, so in case he blew up, a uh, decent game. But uh, obviously, Cowie Leonard had the high ownership, and uh, that was uh, three three oh three. Point eight, low three hundreds are uh, contending if not winning the uh, contest. Uh, Demarcus Cousins over fifty percent owned. He was actually a disappointment. So you look, look, we look at the top, uh, the top um, entries. Like I said, cheap uh, Sacramento Kings. Ben McLemore. It might be the highest total I remember from him. Paul did that. I was thinking I needed uh, Chris Paul to shoot a lot. He he only needed to shoot seven times. He he dished out fifteen assists, so he didn't have to shoot. Um, he wasn't needed much over the weekend in uh, in Denver or um, against the Lakers as well. Shane Larkin that might be his career night uh, of his young career. Uh, Blake Griffin, it's actually a decent total. And we'll look at the. I want to look at the top four. Actually, some easy. Uh, Curry, not bad. Um, Danny, Danny Green, and Cowie Leonard remain the uh, the constants. Um, and then uh, I'd love to tell you who this player is here. Uh, so there's you know you have your thirty five hundred. Uh, Specials that can uh, that can that can pay not pay off handsomely only if they score seventeen point eight. So I this was a night for nice balanced lineups. Uh, Rodney Hood came back with a huge night. Uh, he may have a good night or two uh, before the Utah Jazz hit the golf course uh, and. And here on Sunday, I said, uh, hey, take Barganani. Don't get scared off by the lousy game. I ain't high heat that advice. I got him out well. I took a chance on Noel, and uh, Whiteside couldn't. Uh, he, he had two stitches open up in the Saturday night game. It opened up with five seconds remaining in the game, uh, according to the Miami Heat uh, telecast. And that put him out uh, for the Sunday game, and I also... Killed my season long playoff game. But uh Bargnani did have a strong game. There you have DeAndre Jardin, decent game. And a few others. I, th I think I see someone else out there. Uh I look at number four. Ish Smith. Uh he, it was nice. Uh Clay Thompson. Don't I I'm not gonna take Clay Thompson for the Rest of the regular season. Uh, so 
So we hit the lobby and we find something for uh, Tuesday night. And it's not a great, it's, it's six, uh, six games. Phoenix at Atlanta, and we all know the drill by now. Uh, check back to see who actually play, who is actually in the Hawks starting lineup. Uh, Hornet, I think Hornets have lost uh, 12 in a row. If, if I'm not, I had not realized how far south the Hornets had gone. So they are in Miami and the Heat are beginning to uh, appear to be a long shot to uh, make the postseason. Uh, Golden State at New Orleans. Uh, Pella, I mean, here here's the big the the race for the eighth spot in the West. Uh, Spurs at Oklahoma City. Thunder got annihilated down in uh, San Antonio a few weeks back. Uh, Minnesota at Sacramento. So uh, Demarcus Cousins until further notice, and then uh, Lakers Clippers same bet. Time same bat channel. Just uh, we date we lay down the Clippers hardwood for that. Uh, so I'm kind of leery on taking anyone off the uh, Clippers uh, Clippers Lakers game um, per Roto Wire. These are about even, and uh, you have the top five with Cousins, Paul, Westbrook, Davis, and Blake Griffin. And going by that, you could make a case for uh, playing Blake Griffin because he's a couple thousand cheaper than the others. So that that's one school of thought there. And you have your second tier uh, with Curry and DeAndre Jordan. Uh, So that's that's one school of thought there. So I don't like the point guard uh, universe uh, tonight. So that's why you know there are different ways to go about it. Do you want to play uh, Cousins? He nice matchup, obviously. Uh, Anthony Davis, must-win game, nice matchup, obviously. Uh, you know, nice spot for him. Maybe not a nice matchup, but a nice spot, at least. Uh, I am going to take Westbrook, because uh, I don't like the uh, point guard selections, and this is a must game. He has cooled off uh, substantially, which he makes his salary... Uh, I'm trying to think it was, uh, I think, early Sunday. Um, yeah, he was in the early Sunday game. I think he uh, he triple-doubled and scored 40. Uh, in fact, we can look at it here. 40, 11, and 30. So there, there's 68.7. So yeah, I talk about the guy being horrible and awful, and here's a 58.3 and a 68.7 in just the last week. So. There you go. So um, the other one, uh, Ricky Rubio has been ruled out, uh, and um, the Wolves got the maximum number of uh, playoff ping pong balls. So we'll put the slam dunk champion here with the uh, D, by, by rule, Eric Palestra has to put out um, five players uh, tonight. So we know the drill on D Wade. I always check. We 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 have to, uh, I have to take a chance on him though. Uh, the other one, uh, Danny Green, or. Eric Gordon, I mean, Eric Gordon is nothing spectacular. You get uh, about 26 off him, if best. Uh, but then there are a couple games he couldn't even crack double digits. So uh, there's uh, that risk. 
We'll see what FanDuel has to say about it. And of course, they like Eric Gordon slightly better. I will think about this during the day. It could go by, it could appear in the numbers and that's all you want. And maybe I'll play two and I'll play one and one and one and the other. Uh, is about, uh, I'm just going with Danny Green. If you like Eric Gordon better, uh, be my guest. Uh, I really don't want to go against Cowie Leonard again, neither. Uh, my center, see, at least with center, there are other options. Uh, kind of getting down into the cheaper range. Brandon Wright would be a great one. Uh, if you want to go... cheap on that. He, he's gone over 30 the last couple nights. Uh, for this one, I am going to, I'm, I'm going to go canner just for this one. Uh, I, there's some nice um, kind of um, cheap on the power forwards. Uh, Marcus Morris, uh, I'm not expecting much uh, he hasn't done much though the last three games. I, I I've got him in there. I got him in there though. And Marvin Williams. Uh, actually, is a pretty nice strong uh, strong lines there. And then actually, the player that I like and. Uh, this isn't just uh, a few games here. Uh, Chase Budinger has had actually a nice 10-game uh, run. If you could look at 10 games and the floor is upper teens and the medium is uh, somewhere in the mid-20s, uh, that's not bad. That's going to be a nice one, and I have blown my uh, salary cap, so what I will end up doing is I will go with uh, Brandon Wright, and I have 600 to go. And the other options, uh, the dumb thing on the power forwards, uh, Duncan, uh, that's a little higher. Uh, what I can do, though, is Damari Carroll if he plays. So this would be uh, Westbrook, Levine, uh, Dwayne Wade, Danny Green, Kyrie Leonard, Damari Carroll. Marcus Morris, Marvin Williams, Brandon Wright. Uh, alternate, uh, let's just say, if you do like uh, Blake Griffin, this will kind of be a bean for the buck lineup. Uh, and you still got uh, nice. Have you noticed with that lineup, everyone's uh, over 5,000. I don't have the. Uh, uh, you were kind of a theme of Stephen Curry out of this, uh, and uh, so I quickly run out of time. But someone would have to go with a cheaper, smaller forward, uh, maybe Wiggins, and then uh, I we'll go with a Ray McCallum. So here, here will be another one. Here's a Stephen Curry, uh, McCallum, Wade, Green, Wiggins, Carroll, Griffin, Williams, and uh, Brandon Wright. So that's even a more balanced lineup. So good luck to everyone, and I'll talk to you later.